So today we got Washington spring game, and you can see that Jamal Daniels season stats from last year. They were okay for a freshman. Probably not the best. Probably not where we want them to be. Now, with Yates being 99 overall, I thought that he was going to dip after next season. Matter of fact, I thought that he was a senior. Turns out he was just a junior. So we're up to 93 overall with Jamal. Joey's 89 overall coming back for his junior red shirt season. We ain't got no fullbacks. I don't know what we're doing. But you can see that my man Yates, a.k.a. Jermaine Curse, he is 99 overall. 99 overall again that means in this game he was 99 overall as a junior that's crazy to me because again i don't remember him just lighting up the college football world to the point where he would be a 99 overall player doesn't mean that i know everything i'm just saying that i did not realize that he was that good but anyways at the end of the day i'm glad that he's back but it baffles me that seattle's trying to trade him i'm like why are they trying to trade him it's not like seattle's offense is lighting the world on fire either and i thought he was a pretty solid receiver got the size got some speed able to make the tough catch in traffic from time to time but anyways this is the spring game we're on defense first i am the quarterback jamal daniels excuse me is the quarterback for the purple squad but have we seen this much activity in the nfl i haven't like in a while like I heard that TJ Ward's finna get cut or traded. You had Joe Hayden, he got cut and then signed by the by the Steelers. You know, Curse, he's on the trading block. Like a lot of solid players are just being on the move. And I think that that's okay for the NFL. It's just you really don't see this much activity in the NFL in years past. Now, again, I think it's a good thing. I just hope that they come to the 49ers because we can use some help. But anyways, man, Ball, he is the backup quarterback. He's Jamal Daniels' backup, so we want to make sure that he stays the backup. So Purple Squad, we want to harass this young man. It's fourth and forever. He tries to pick up the first down, and he does not get it. Now, first downs are two points. Touchdowns are six points. If you get a stop on defense via a... Uh, three and out or turnover on downs. I believe that is three points. Interceptions is four points. And I believe a sack is one point. I may have gotten that wrong, but I believe that's what it is. So right there is going to toss that one out of bounds. He's not looking too good. That pass is dropped right there. The white squad or the gold squad, as they call it here in NCAA 11, they're struggling to say the least. And I'm not too mad about that because Jamal Daniels wants to keep his job. You know what I'm saying? So he's dropping back the pass. Again, we got some pressure that time. Nice catch right there by Paul. I believe he got like one touchdown last season. Maybe we'll try to get him involved just a little bit more. Webb out of the backfield is able to break a tackle, but does get pushed out of bounds. So again, drop back the pass one more time to Paul. I get another user tackle. The defense in this game is definitely ahead of the offense in this game. It's much harder to play offense. Like I want to make a halfback one of these days in the future when maybe we're done one of these series. But halfback, I think, is going to be kind of difficult, especially when you ain't got no speed starting off or can't break no tackles. Going to be fumbling the football out there as we get an interception. And, of course, we end the first half 28 to nothing. I mean, 28 to 10, excuse me. We were just dogging them. We were dogging them the whole time. So here goes Jamal, and he's changed his number to number 8. 8 is one of my favorite numbers. It was Steve Young's number. Huge Steve Young fan. I think Steve Young's the most talented quarterback in history. The way that he can run and the way that he can pass. That's a discussion for another day. For another day. I don't think he is the best quarterback of all time. But he is the most talented in my opinion. As Jamal Daniels might have changed his number. But he still throws bonehead passes like that. But he's going to find his man on the crossing route. Beautiful pass right there for a first down. Now Joey trying to get loose. But he goes nowhere. Dropping back is Jamal. And he gets dropped in the backfield. So we are going the wrong way. But Jamal with time steps up in the pocket. He's looking. He's looking. He's throwing. And that's going to be caught by Yates. I want Yates to have a huge year. We are definitely going to go to Yates' side a lot. I might bump up the quarter, diff quarter difficulty. I might bump up the quarter length just a little bit as we throw another interception. Just so we can get better stats and try to contend for that Heisman. And look at Joey. Oh my. Gosh, a man amongst boys breaks about four tackles right there. We give it to him again. Breaks two tackles right there, but then they get chopped down at the line of scrimmage. But now we're going to give it to Turner. One man, two man misses. Then check out the spin move. Oh, baby, get off me. And that is going to be another first down. Check out the replay right here. Able to make two people miss at the same time. That's just embarrassing. That is embarrassing. That is going to be a film study highlight for years to come. And those two players will be embarrassed every time we show that. We're going to find a big tight end. No offense has scored so far in this spring game. 
and it doesn't look like any offense is going to score in this spring game as Jamal throws a pick right there. We get pressure off the edge, and that's going to land at the DB's feet. So we're trying to get into the end zone, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We're under pressure. Jamal's trying to do too much, trying to take the whole game into his hands, and it's just a sophomore, okay? You might be pretty good, and you might be on your way to stardom, but you're still just a sophomore, all right? You're not really even a real sophomore because it's still your freshman year since this is technically the spring game still in your freshman year so anyways it's 44 to 25 we're definitely going to win this game because we've done enough on the defense side of the ball and of course with us picking up first down at the first down at the first down that added to our point total total as well we're going to try to find a big tight end he can't come up with it so can we do anything right here with three two one seconds left we're going to find turner who makes the catch and that's going to add to our stats but that's going to be all she wrote not the best spring game as far as offense is concerned we're able to move the ball a little bit but then we were able to not get into the end zone at all as Jamal Daniels did throw three picks the backup quarterback ball he had a decent showing but he threw two picks as well and that's gonna wrap it up it looks like Jamal Daniels gonna keep his job but I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always I enjoy bringing it to you hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day until next time peace that's all